Zero is a, is a band whose lineup can be changing very much. And uh, the, the, the core of the band is three people, which are uh, Joël Mera, Stéphane Garin and myself, which are the, the three people who played together tonight. But the band can be 10 people, 12 people, eight or sometimes two or even one it happened once that there was only one person in the band and we make our own compositions and also we play compositions by other people well we, we met and we we had a lot of affinity so we thought we really must play together and uh, well maybe it helps for some part of the creativity as you say because uh, I think some, everyone adds something different than the others, and uh, but we don't we don't think like that. We just play together because we like each other. We we laugh a lot when we are together. The, the music sounds very serious, but when we play, half the time is making jokes and laughing. I think the the, the structure of the band of three or four people living in the same town and. Uh, uh, playing together every day, it's an maybe it's an old concept. I mean, still still working, but today things can be different because it's easier to travel and it's easier to move. It's easier to to change uh, where you live, and you can you know you can you can take a plane for uh, for a very cheap price now. So it's easier for people to live in different cities. There is also the big revolution that was the internet that makes that a lot of bands sometimes are created with people who don't know each other. It's not uncommon to have some people who just hear about each other and make a band together and they record together just by sending files. So I think the basic structure of the band life has now evolved. And Zero is also an example of that. Maybe we push it even further because uh, not only we live in different cities, of course, but also the activities are very diverse. Like composing together is one thing, but playing things by other composers. Uh, we can play pieces by Philip Glass or Steve Reich or Morton Feldman, John Cage, or new living composers. And we also, it's, it's, and it's not even only that. We also have like an activity of uh, uh, spreading the music of not only ourselves like Stefan is doing a lot of uh, listening sessions in the city where he lives for children for adults where he just plays music and explains music we have also an online radio it's called zero for radio it's a, also a way to say okay we we're playing you this thing because we think it's interesting so it's like you're yeah, spreading the music and uh, we also have a fanzine, a paper fanzine, you know, to say, okay, we interviewed this guy, if we think it must be interesting. The thing is yeah, that today, I think, uh, especially in the rich countries, if you have an internet connection, then you can be aware of the music of any time and any country. That's a reality. So it's true, what you say is totally true, that uh, music categories have kind of exploded. It's almost impossible to find some bands, some musicians that make like a pure thing that is not influenced by something else. Like even a reggae band will be maybe influenced by, uh, by techno or uh, industrial music or even a jazz band will be aware of what Philip Glass has done or uh, what uh, Radiohead. And um, so the category, yeah, we, it's like some Japanese musician, uh, Ryoji Ikeda, described it as a post-everything. Because he was asked, of, what are, in which category are you? And he said, I'm after everything. I'm sorry, but I'm not in the category. I'm, I'm, I'm using everything. And I think that's the case for everyone today. So, and it's a freedom. So we, we must take advantage of that. This knowledge of every kind of music that is so easy today. So it's, it's, it's something we have to, to use. So we're trying that with Zero because the music is all, always evolving, always changing. We don't have a single style. The only problem that it creates to me is that 
when are we listening, I mean carefully listening, because music is so much everywhere, we are surrounded by any sound, we have hours of music on our hard drives, and then when do we listen, I mean really listen, that's the big question for me now, I think.
Thank you.